all right so <coughs> we are sorry guys uh, we are starting our next challenge that is challenge seven so first thing we will look at the layout let's look at this layout right i'll open that so let's divide this project into different section right so this is the first section that's the first with the background color all right and then you know we have the text that is one element maybe paragraph right and this is the heading one okay so this two is in the center right center of the box how we can make something in the center of the box for example this is your main box right and also uh, just remember here everything is in the inside look like inside the wrapper right if you imagine this thing you know just imagine like that okay these are just in the center right so how we can achieve that also okay that's the point so to make something in the center i mean you can just do text align center right it will work but you know if i have to do it i maybe i'll just use flex box okay so i will because there is two item right this is the first and second item two item i will put in separate box okay and then move that box horizontally and vertically right so it will be exactly in the center of the uh center of this uh what you call that the main wrapper right center of this box okay so even here uh you know we're gonna have like main box or main section right that is the second part here also we're gonna have main section and then you have a wrapper in each one okay that is the wrapper right wrapper and inside you're gonna have flex box or row right row box and the row box is gonna have because there is two elements left and right always you need a parent box that is row box and then inside the children box right so that you can add this text inside that box and here you're gonna add image see similarly this one is same thing you know uh this is just by itself so you can move this in the center right does not matter but this two paragraph now is aligned in one row so in that situation you must need one parent box and make that flex okay and because both of is just one paragraph uh, even if you don't put separate uh, div right it is okay because it's it is by itself one paragraph right this is paragraph and this is paragraph right so they will just align even paragraph is a box right so they will be just aligned in left and right uh you just add a gap and it will be done but in this case you know we have two elements the heading two and paragraph so we, that's the reason we must wrap in a separate box that's the thing okay guys so i hope this is uh, clear enough let me remove right yeah wrap uh, that is gone so you can see you know like some font also roboto playfair uh display black right playfair display black roboto regular so we have a re roboto light and roboto regular i believe light is 300 uh font weight and regular will be 400 and then display is black right that that will be around font weight 900 and we have the color also right so here we're gonna learn few things okay the the container size our main container size right is 1128 pixel so in the first section try setting a mean width right mean width of 660 pixel and using what we have covered in the flex box okay so minimum width remember this box we can make it you know like 660 pixel and then that box will be small right so you can move it to the center you can do that also so let's let's see right i mean there is different way we can achieve this okay but these are the few things given uh we will try to uh 
you know maybe we can uh, try to learn also the uh, css variables and how you can store the fonts and colors right in a variable and then you can use throughout the site right so once you define all the variables for the fonts or maybe colors right or any element okay or any not element but the value right if you store in a variable it becomes easy to use throughout the site okay so we will look at that also so first thing let's download right let's download this starter file i'll just click on the download uh open that uh, i will extract this so extract all so this is what we get right there is just the image i don't know there should be more thing what so i'll just copy this okay let, let me just copy right Yes, yeah, so I'll just uh, take this and put inside our project. So seven challenge. Yeah. So just leave it like that. Uh, let me close all this. We don't need. So here is just the image, right? That two image you saw earlier. Okay. So the first thing what I need is index space. Then I'm going to need a style page. So. I will start with my boilerplate for the HTML. I will change the title. Challenge 7, right? Let's keep it 7. Then link my CSS. Okay. So before I start, you know, like adding any CSS, right? I will just complete my html or just raw html right so let's look at that okay so <clears throat> first i have how many different sections this one section two three and four section right so let's uh, add here uh i'll just make it section does not a uh, div or section does not matter right you can just make section one two oh sorry shift control right uh, alt shift down arrow key alt shift down arrow key for section so just give a class name of uh, maybe uh, let's call it let's call it section one and we're going to change this to section two three and four right you can uh, name it uh, you know the way you like it does not matter okay so first i'm going to add the text in the first section right so what is the text there what are the text right let's see so lorem if some there is three paragraph i mean just paragraph right for example this is just a paragraph lorem three it's like that and then you have heading one right responsive layouts don't have to be a struggle so see the thing is you know i mean we can work through one section right finish that one and then move to the next section that is also a good way okay i mean but if you feel like okay i know everything i can just quickly add all the html and then work through right but what I will do is I'm going to go through one by one. Okay. So my first section, section one is done, right? This is all I have. So let's go live view and then complete that part. Okay. And then move to the next part because most of the thing, thing will be repeating, right? So you can see now here. So first thing, what I need is, uh, 
you know let me start my css right okay so in css universal selector and then make it margin zero adding zero box sizing border box okay so you see it just reset right so what i will do i'm going to define some variable right so how we define the variable so you just put it like a root and uh, dash dash right and give the name okay so here i don't know what color is that right so the first section try setting a mean height of six and using what we have power in the flex box in the seri first section seri right okay whatever this color is right uh what color we can call it uh let's call it uh uh i don't know what color is that right so not brown but gray it's not gray right uh it's kind of cream color something like that but anyway i'll just make it gray like or or you know okay let's make it i don't know gray light maybe so and give that color name right f3 e e d9 so what we are learning here right we are learning how to even add our variables in css okay and then use that right so brown uh dark or you can call it like brown primary or secondary like that also. first you two dash okay and then it's a uh, black right it's not black but like a green blue right blue dark okay so we got all this color right uh also the font uh font will be roboto and playfair so how we can use that font right so we have to let's look at how to get a font also okay so i will go and google font so we are learning now how to you know find the font also okay google font right so the first thing is i'm going to search uh, the roboto roboto right i'll just click that and get font click on get font right and then so here you can see something okay that is what you see right uh get embedded code and it looks something like this you can take that one or right import okay just import so you're gonna just copy this and use that fine that is one thing we need uh let's look for another font that is play here right so go to the font again and search for play here this one okay and then click on get font right so now see you have two font in the cart here so just click on get code here and it should give you right let's see if both font is here yeah so you can see font family play fair and font family roboto right both are there okay included so just copy that and 
and here uh, you can just add it somewhere on the top maybe or here will be fine right in CSS because we are just importing right and that should be fine okay now if you look at here right in the design so roboto the one and two is playfair right so that means all the heading heading fonts like heading one is 60 pixel heading two is 36 pixel so headings are playfair and and the roboto right roboto will be the text okay so what i will do is i'm gonna just you know call the body right like that and font family let's copy from here so you can have this uh, roboto i mean we can add here right let's add uh play player play player or something like that what is that uh play fair right yeah here so you don't need this let's put it like that okay and later you can call the font family and just call play here right that will work and even uh the next i'll just add it here okay in the body that the the robot all right so let's let's find the robot which is here So see the font font weight 300 for the normal right and uh, 400 is regular okay so font family here and font to weight uh, font to weight i will make it 400 that is regular and font size the normal size i will make it 21 pixel clear but somewhere I'm going to need 18 pixel also, right? So, but normally this is what going to apply to everything. But in heading one, heading two, we're going to call this and the font weight, right? Later, okay? And so this is good. I mean, you know, this is good, right? If you look at now, it, it even changed, most likely it changed some design now here. Okay. Always next step is create a container, right? container or maybe wrapper with make it 80 percent or 90 percent then give a max width of 1120 pixel right that is what we have here max which is 1128 pixel okay so sorry let's go back here 1128 pixel i mean you can leave it 20 does not matter so this container is with 80 percent so why we have width right 80 percent and why we put max width 80 percent for a small device if any device right is smaller than this size 1128 pixel size if device are smaller than 1128 pixel we use 80 percent but anything more than this then maximum width our text can grow right our web page can grow is 1128 pixel means maximum it can it cannot go more than this but the device is smaller than this size right then it will be 80 percent automatically and then you can center that right using margin because now we have a lot of margin on the right side so we move left and right uh margin top and bottom zero left and right auto so that is margin left auto margin right auto done right uh we can have uh let's make it row right row uh, display okay and give a gap maybe gap of something like a 30 pixel the font size is you know like 21 pixel right here what we can do is one more thing we can do you know what we can do right uh, let's see uh we can define right we can define our default font size 
like uh, let's make it uh you can write like html right html and body like this and give a font size font size of 10 pixel so this is the font size right okay we just reset the font size now no matter what right our all the font size will be 10 pixel just look at here now still it is big right you can see this is big but if i remove this now you can see it's just 10 pixel okay now in the body right i i'm going to change this with the rem now font size to to rem that is 20 pixel see so my normal paragraph will be 20 pixel but this one later i'm going to change right heading one whatever i need see we the thing is right we reset we are not taking any font from the browser now no matter what our font base is 10 pixel and one rem is 10 pixel two rem is 20 pixel if you need 60 right you make six rem for heading one for example let's say heading one i'm gonna make font size 6 rem like that okay see that is 60 pixel and also i can apply font family now right font family so our you know like okay let me uh recap right because i, I have to pause for something okay See, we, we are defining all this, which will make our life easy later, right? When we start writing the rest of the code, okay? These are the base few, I mean, some of the basic things we, you can set up every time when you start uh, writing uh, or, you know, writing code, right? So the thing is, S1 font family is Playfair. So I'll just call Playfair, that's that one. And when you use a variable just call var bracket and the variable name right and then you give a font weight font weight will be 900 right 900 that is a black and you, you can look here now you just change okay fine so that is done i mean that's how you can apply right uh you know everything whatever we need we can apply normally our font size is roboto sans serif for everything but for heading one heading two will be this right so same thing we have a lot of heading two also so the few things will be same right for heading two like font size that is uh 36 pixels so what we can do is you know like 3.6 right 10 times 3 is 30 and 0.6 is 36 pixel 36 rem okay and then font family you can again define a variable left here okay <coughs> and then font weight will be again 900 so heading to also done right later you can select again these things right and change the color whatever you have to do but this will be the base style okay for all heading one all heading two done now the next thing we're going to focus is this designing our this part right so we have a container correct so let's use that one oh, what happened So let's always write in the section. This is the section one, right? Uh, le let me give a background color to section one. So here I'm gonna like uh, section one. Uh, let me comment this out. Okay, and then dot section one and give a background color of variable now, right? I have variable 
So it will be gray light, this the one. So look at that. Okay. Uh, you can have padding, right? So first I want to put this in the center. Okay. So for that, you know, you need to call your div with class name of container. And wrap everything in that inside that container, right? That's the first thing we're gonna do to make things go in the center. Okay, look at there, right? So in a small device, it is 80%. That's why we have 10% left and 10% right side gap. I mean, if you don't trust me, just put a border here, right? Border two pixel solid red. So that's the container. 80 percent okay because it's less than 11 28 pixel right if i grow this now my container maximum size is 11 28 pixel and it is in the center of the screen good now what should i do now uh there is two way we can uh define this right either i can add another container like this Right, and call this one maybe you know section one text. Text like that. And dot section one underscore text and give a max width, right? Maximum width of 660 pixel. Okay, so look at here now. So see this is just stuck in 660 pixel right so there is a lot of margin on the right side now first we control with the container now we control with our text box right okay so you can use either margin right let's make it but better what i will do is uh, i mean there is different thing we can do right okay just just do one thing okay just center that container. Let's center that first, right? So margin. First, I'm going to give a background color, right? Red. Just to see, okay? So this is the container, right? All right. And uh, we can center that container. This section text, okay? By applying margin. Zero or two. Like that. Now the point is right. How are you gonna make this big, like height wise, right? So section one, either we can do padding. Let's keep a padding top and bottom, maybe hundred pixel. And left and right, you don't have to do anything because you know we already have a lot of uh, left and right margin, right? We have margin from the container. We have margin from this uh, text box also because our text box is only 660 pixel so there there is a lot of margin right in a small device it will look like this uh you know see it will be 80 percent in a small device but after 660 pixel see mm -hmm. that things grow right but the box that red box is just a 660 pixel so we have margin left and right. How are you going to make things in the center? So in the text, just make it text align center like that. Yeah. So now I need to fix uh, that paragraph, right? So let's do that. So I will say section one P e tag. Okay. Font weight is uh, font size, right? Font size is, I think, uh, just 18 pixels. So that will be uh, 1.8 REM. Okay. And font weight is 300, right? Something like that. Look at that. Next is this. Uh, okay, let's remove the background color now, right? I think we don't need this. Yeah. Next is this, uh, so let me check this first, right, how it looks. Yeah, so there is 
there is some kind of uh, you know color and all that right fine so we're gonna deal with that also so let's add some margin bottom right margin bottom of 20 pixel that's a lot right so we can make it around 16 pixel and so let's continue you know even there there should be some space between right between the paragraphs so it, i mean it's text okay so that is uh what is that line not line but okay i, I just don't remember right uh what will be uh, let me check quickly okay so that will be later spacing and we can give it maybe let's make it two pixel and see how it works or maybe three yeah you can see that you know some space between the letter right okay let's work with the this part now remember we have a heading one heading two already style right that is general for all heading one heading two but for this heading special heading one now so we can call it dot section one heading one and give a color right color text color will be variable uh is this one yeah then line height so line height will be zero point let's make it eight that's good so we done you know like i mean we almost done right uh we almost done here if you stretch this out so it it, it looks something like this so remember in our container we have this border right that's the container border but if you comment this out and save it looks something like this yeah so we're done with the first section right then we're gonna move to the next section now for now i'll just leave this uh border right uh, so that you can you know you can see that the use case of this container okay, everywhere so let's work on the section two Now, most of the difficult work is done already, okay, by adding all these uh, fonts, uh, you know, defining the variables, applying the all the fonts. I mean, most of the work is done. Now it should be easy, right? So let's go back here. And in this section, we have heading two, paragraph, paragraph. Because paragraph is left and right, uh, you know, we're going to put in the row. So let's go back here in section two. First, I always gonna need a container to center my all the content, right? Container done. Inside the container, next thing I have is heading two because it is by itself, right? So I don't need to put in any flex box. The one heading two, you can just center out and done quality designer design right designs okay now two paragraph and they are aligned left and right in that case i'm gonna need a box call it row and that row is already a uh, row right so you can look at the row here display flex and there is some gap also so it will work automatic so what we have in the row you know if there are many elements right like heading to paragraph heading to then you must put in the separate box here but because they are just by itself one paragraph like this that is the first uh, left box and another paragraph on the right box uh, okay so that, that that is two box right and you will see something like this already look at that okay so it's time to 
style it let's do that so in section two section two i will say i will add padding top and bottom right padding of top and bottom maybe 50 pixel left and right zero because left and right i have a lot of margin so see this container now push down a little bit there is space on the top so dot section two i'm selecting heading two now right and give a background color not background but color of variable uh brown right okay the font size is okay because we have applied font family font size already here heading to look at that that is general right so no need to worry about that some special style you can select it in that section and then apply it right that's how it should work so let's give the margin bottom of 20 pixel and put it in the center right so text align center. good uh if you want you can make it maybe 25 fine so done you know we almost finished right look at that i mean nothing else we can do here so it, it looks something like this all right so i mean if you want uh if uh, let's go back to the design so see how it looks right so here yeah, it looks something like that so let's work on these two part now right so look at the container red box okay that border right see how they are aligned perfectly and that is the one of the most important thing to understand okay uh so next thing we're gonna work on this so what i will do is go to html section 3 first section 3 gonna have that background color that is okay then i'm gonna need a container to center everything so class name container right and inside inside the container see i have two row column right the left column and right column so and left column has heading two and paragraph that's why i need first i need a row right do you uh class row this will be a flex box automatically but inside the flex box i need two children box d let's give a class of column right and also one more column okay so the top one is left column when you display flex on this row box right uh, this will be going left and this will go on right side so on the left box i have heading to and uh, made custom for you right like that and then is paragraph so maybe 20 word only fine done on the right column we're gonna have image select the image right from image uh maybe one first one i believe yeah and that is the sun sign like that done so let's install this if you go back and check here right it looks something like this okay see that already flex box okay already flex box right and that's why this is on the left box and in the left box we have our left column we have heading two and paragraph everything working right so what i will do is i'm gonna basically just put here section three and comment this out right so dot section three background color will be dark right variable uh this one okay and the text is white so 
color will be white we're gonna have we need to add some padding also right top and bottom so let's do that padding maybe 50 pixel top and bottom left and right we just need zero it looks something like that if you go back and check the design so see there is space on top and bottom and all right so you can see the space now when you have image right always remember to select that image and give a width of 100 percent of its parent box so that image will fit within the box of the parent right and one more thing you can add is object fit contain right do that one so that the ratio of the image will be in the center okay so now what we can do is even we can define right the, this column like you know grow and shrink in proportionally maybe the one right so let's do that uh, that's the dot call and make it flex to one right so see they now equal size both column is equal size so when you expand this it will looks like something like this it's time to uh you know fix this too right let's do that so dot section three h2 and just add a margin bottom right of 26 pixel and it looks something like that if you want you can add more text here right little bit more uh, that will be fine so here maybe just select lorem a little bit more yeah fine so that's how it that is what we look so look at here now section first with the container section two container section three container see they all perfectly aligned now let's work on the last part that is this one right so it's exactly same thing it's exactly same thing right same like the above only thing is the image will move in the first column and the text will go in the second column right so let's write write down that section three we always gonna need div class container to center our element inside because we have two columns so i'm gonna read a flex box and i have a class for row right and because there is two columns and second column has heading two and paragraph in together right so i must put in a separate box the first column has the image and that image will be second one and this is uh let's make it forest i don't know forest something like that and the second column uh has a heading to okay and it's created with care right so here and then we have paragraph something like that okay so let's let's check now the text and it looks something here okay so we can style now right let me put it together and we're gonna start start styling this section four now right so let's add section four so below here first will be section four and add padding right adding top and bottom 50 pixel left and right is zero okay the next thing is um, okay there is a background color right so let's do that 
background color of variable this right okay uh, is that text color oh, okay so there is a white color right? so, color will be white fine now and because in remember we already added the column right column flex one and all that so it's everything is taking place image already we style okay image we have make you know, uh with 100 percent object fit content all that right everything is what the only thing is uh dot section four heading two and give a margin right margin bottom of 26 pixel or 25 whatever we have okay and we're done right so we done with this look at that so what we can do now is remove the container right container border so let's take that out we go back here and in our container where is the container here just i will comment this for now right so you can see now this is what we have done so see all our content is perfectly aligned in the center with the container right and if there is flex box you know it depends on how many rows in column right so in this second column we have two rows the first item heading to and the second item right paragraph so that's why they are put in the separate box okay so please pay attention to that one try this uh you know practice couple of time understand the concept right it will learn a help later okay guys so that is done with this uh, exercise now let me close all this so what we have learned here is how to apply variables you know how you can predefine some css uh, how to use font google fonts right and all that we have learned we you know use the flex it's very easy simple things you know so the flex remember flex is the short form of flex grow flex ring flex basis and all that okay so when you make flex one right all the child like whatever column class right all of them become same size the box will be same size equal size right it can grow it can shrink right so but it will be always equal size okay i will stop here and then we will continue tomorrow with the next uh i think eight uh this is the last challenge so we will work on that tomorrow So tomorrow maybe it will be a little longer video but we will try to finish it right uh, and also we're going to learn the responsive design and all that here so if this get too long then we're going to extend in two days right because we're going to make this responsive as well i'm going to explain about res responsive design also okay guys thank you i'll see you tomorrow